Welcome YouTube followers. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, hopefully if you stay till the end, I'm gonna be dropping some good game uh, about information about real estate investing. So stick around and if you like it, smash that like button and subscribe and comment down below. So in this video, what I wanna talk about is um, having a backup plan. And, and that backup plan is having an additional stream of income while you're working your corporate America job. So in my case, I worked at a plant. I made really good money. My complaint was never really about how much money I made with corporate America. My, com my biggest concern and complaint and stress was I was exchanging time for wages. And people don't, I know when, back then I didn't look, look at that. But hindsight, I'm exchanging time for wages. And I knew that I wasn't getting ahead. But most importantly, if that one stream of income that was guaranteed for me to exchange time for wages, if it ever fell out, because that's not my job, it's not your job, it's not your company, if they ever let you go, then that is it. And unfortunately, I had to go through a situation to where um, I had to learn the hard way. I'd lost my corporate America job. The business, the company said I didn't fit their business structure because they were making some changes and they laid me off. When I got laid off, just like most people, you don't have any other additional income coming in. That was a huge mistake that I made back in the day, looking back hindsight. So what I tell people today, especially the younger generation, is for me, I wasn't getting into real estate to become famous or I wasn't getting into real estate to become rich. The main goal, reason why I got into real estate is to have an additional backup stream of income and a supplemental stream of income. Just look at it like this. If everybody has a, a car, right? We have an automobile. But if you notice, it's designed to where if you look in the trunk, there's an extra tire, a spare tire in your trunk. Why? Because if you're tire goes on a flat on one of the four, at least it's a supplemental tire to get you to the next location and get your original tire back on and get back to rolling like you were originally. The tire is not designed to go, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles. It's just a, a small little tire to get you to the next location temporarily. That's how we have to look at our financing. You really got to look at it as you might not make a lot at the very beginning, because you won't, because you got to start off from somewhere. I started out with one property, like we all do. But over time, I kept building on top of it, building on top of it. I got one house, then I got two houses, then I got three houses, then I got four houses while still working at Corporate America. And it wasn't until I had about eight houses before I was able to supplement and have another additional stream of income that matched my Corporate America job. It would have been a lot easier if I knew this back then, because when I was going through my struggle, I didn't know what was going on. My mindset wasn't right, like most of us, and we're trying to figure this out and work our way through it as we're struggling. But I found out about real estate investing. It was my supplemental stream of income. It wasn't about the Ferraris, Porsches, and big house. I just looked at it as I was going through it. I needed an additional stream of income in that moment. And that's something that I learned later on. So as I tell the younger people, again, I mean, if you want the flashy cars and stuff like that, you can get all that. But and or if you're older like myself, you know, I just wanted an additional stream of income as a backup plan. If my corporate America job ever says, you know what, we're going to lay you off. And even if they didn't, I was still building, building, building blocks one house at a time to where I was going to additionally have more income than my W-2 so I could leave and walk away from corporate America very comfortably. And that's exactly what I did. When I matched it, then I knew I could leave, but I did a little bit more and bought some more houses to make more income than I was at W-2. When I wanted to leave corporate America job at the age of 49, that was the greatest feeling in the world. Nobody forced me out. It was my choice and I did it at my liking and at my timing. That was the greatest feeling, and I haven't looked back since. And I still continue to buy real estate, but more importantly, I love teaching people so they can get to that same level or more 
and, and, and be financially free. It's the greatest feeling that you don't have to deal with a boss, you don't have to deal with corporate America, you don't have to deal with the red tape, and you can get your time back because your time is your most valuable asset and you can get it back through real estate. Guys, if you like this information, please uh, subscribe, share this information. Also click the link down below. I do have some content. You can join my mentorship to help you to get to that next level if you wanna get started in real estate investing. See you in the next, uh, see you on the next video.